Hello and welcome to English with Justino, videos designed for you to learn English vocabulary, expressions, culture, and maybe even some grammar along the way. This video is for those already speaking English at an intermediate or advanced level. The idea here is to listen, read, and learn from a native English speaker in a natural way, the way you first learned your native language, by hearing it. Okay, forward we go. Enjoy! Alice's Wonderland Adventures, Chapter 4, Lesson 3 Alice was still stuck in the house and she had just kicked Pat out of the chimney. Pat was on the ground after flying through the air, but is doing fine. We must burn the house down, said the rabbit's voice, and Alice called out as loud as she could, If you do, I'll sick din of my cat on you. What did the white rabbit want to do? The white rabbit wanted to burn the house down with Alice inside. What could Alice do? Alice yelled out as loud as she could that she was going to sick her cat dinner on them. There was a dead silence instantly, and Alice thought to herself, I wonder what they'll do next. If they had any sense, they would take the roof off of the house. After a minute or two, they began moving about again, and Alice heard the rabbit say, A wheelbarrow will do to begin with. What happened next? Was there a loud discussion? No, there was not a loud discussion. There was a dead silence. No one said anything or made a sound. What did Alice think they should do to get her out of the house? Alice thought they should take the roof off of the house. What did everyone start to do after a minute or two went by? Everyone started moving again, and Alice heard the rabbit say that the wheelbarrow would do. A wheelbarrow for what? thought Alice. But she did not have long to think, because the next moment a shower of little pebbles came rattling in at the window and some of them hit her in the face. I'll put a stop to this, she said to herself, and shouted out, You'd better not do that again, which produced another dead silence. What did they do next? They dumped a wheelbarrow of little pebbles into the window of the house. Did they miss Alice? No, the pebbles did not miss Alice. The shower of pebbles hit Alice in the face. What did Alice do then? Alice yelled at them that they had better not do that again. Alice noticed with some surprise that the pebbles were all turning into little cakes as they lay on the floor, and a bright idea came into her head. If I eat one of these cakes, she thought, it might make me change my size again. Maybe it will make me smaller, I hope. What happened to the pebbles? Did they all roll into the corner of the house? No, the pebbles did not roll into the corner. They all started turning into little cakes. What did Alice think about this? Alice thought that maybe if she ate one of the little cakes, it would shrink her down again so she could get out of the house. So, she swallowed one of the cakes and was delighted to find that she began shrinking. As soon as she was small enough to get through the door, she ran out of the house and found a large crowd of little animals and birds waiting outside. The poor little lizard Bill was in the middle, being held up by two guinea pigs, who were giving Bill something out of a bottle. They all rushed at Alice the moment she appeared, but she ran off as hard as she could and soon found herself safe in a thick forest. Did Alice eat one of the cakes? Yes, Alice ate a cake and swallowed it all. Was Alice then mad she stayed the same size? No, Alice was delighted or happy that she started to shrink again. What happened when she was small again? Did she kick down the door of the house? No, Alice did not kick down the door. She ran out the door. What did she find outside? Alice found a crowd of animals and birds, including Bill, that she had kicked out of the chimney. What happened? They all rushed at Alice, so she ran off into the woods. The first thing I have to do, thought Alice to herself as she wandered in the woods, is to grow back to my right size again. And the second thing is to find my way into that lovely garden. I think that will be the best plan. It sounded like an excellent plan. The only problem was that she had no idea how to make it happen. And while she was looking around uneasily among the trees, a little sharp bark just over her head made her look up quickly. Did Alice make a plan? Yes, Alice made a plan. What was Alice's plan? Alice's plan was to grow back to her normal size, since she was now really small again, and get into the lovely garden. 
Did Alice know how to execute or make her plan happen? No, Alice had no idea. What did Alice hear then? Alice heard a bark over her head. An enormous puppy was looking down at her with large round eyes, and was weakly stretching out one paw, trying to touch her. Poor little thing, said Alice in a sweet tone, and she tried to whistle to it. But she was terribly frightened at the thought that it might be hungry and want to eat her in spite of all her sweetness. What was looking down at Alice? Was a cat looking down at Alice? No, a cat was not looking down at Alice. A puppy was looking down at Alice, with large round eyes. Was Alice happy to see the puppy? No. Alice was scared, because she was so tiny now. She thought the puppy might want to eat her if it was hungry. Hardly thinking, she picked up a stick and held it out to the puppy. The puppy jumped into the air, off all of its feet at once, with a howl of delight, and ran at the stick. Alice sidestepped behind a flower patch to keep herself from being run over. The moment she appeared, the puppy made another run at the stick and tumbled head over heels in a rush to get it. Alice dodged the puppy again, and it barked, until at last it sat down a good distance away, panting, with its tongue hanging out of its mouth, and its eyes partly shut. Did Alice decide to try and feed the puppy a bone? No. Alice did not try to feed the puppy a bone. Alice picked up a stick and held it out to the puppy. Did the puppy want the stick? Yes. The puppy wanted the stick, and it ran at Alice twice to get the stick. What did Alice do? Alice sidestepped, or moved out of the way of the puppy each time. Alice dodged the puppy, and the puppy tumbled head over heels to get it, but it missed each time. Did the puppy keep trying then? No. The puppy at last sat down, with its tongue hanging out, with its eyes partly shut. This seemed to Alice a good opportunity for making her escape, so she ran off at once, and kept running until she was tired and out of breath. The puppy's bark sounded faint in the distance. Why did this seem to Alice a good time to escape? Alice thought this was a good time to escape because the puppy was tired and had its eyes partly closed. Did Alice sneak away slowly walking? No. Alice did not walk. She ran off and kept running until she was tired and out of breath. Did she lose the puppy? Yes. The puppy's bark was far off in the distance when Alice stopped. Even though Alice had been scared, she thought, what a cute little puppy it was, and she leaned against a poppy flower to rest. She fanned herself with one of the leaves. I would have liked to teach it tricks, if only I was the right size to do it. Oh my, I nearly forgot that I have to grow back up again. Let me think, how am I going to do this? I guess I should eat or drink something else from this strange place. But now the question is, what? What did Alice think about the puppy now that she was safely away? Did Alice think the puppy was cute? Yes. Alice thought the puppy was cute and wished she could teach it tricks. Did Alice forget she was smaller than a puppy now? Yes. Alice forgot about this and reminded herself that she needed to figure out a way to grow back to normal again. Did Alice think she needed to eat or drink something else to grow larger again? Yes, she did, but she didn't know what. Alice looked all around her at the flowers and the blades of grass, but she did not see anything that looked like the right thing to eat or drink. There was a large mushroom growing near her. It was about the same size as Alice. She looked under it, on both sides of it, and behind it. Then it occurred to her that she would look and see what was on top of it. Did Alice give up looking for something to make her go back to normal size again? No. Alice did not give up looking. Alice looked all around her at the flowers and blades of grass. Did Alice find anything? No. She did not find anything to eat or drink, but she did find an interesting mushroom about her same size. Where did Alice look? when she found the mushroom. Alice looked under it, on both sides of it, and behind it. Did she look on top of it then? Yes. It occurred to Alice she should look on top of the mushroom. Alice stretched herself up on her tiptoes and looked over the top edge of the mushroom. Her eyes immediately met those of a large blue caterpillar. The caterpillar was sitting on top of the mushroom with its arms folded. It was quietly smoking a long hookah pipe the caterpillar disregarded Alice 
and everything else around it as it smoked the pipe. When Alice looked on top of the mushroom, what did she find? Alice's eyes met the eyes of a large blue caterpillar. What was this caterpillar doing on top of the mushroom? The caterpillar was sitting with its arms folded, quietly smoking a long hookah pipe. Did the caterpillar say hello and welcome Alice? No. The caterpillar sitting on the mushroom smoking a hookah pipe ignored Alice. And now the story summary in the past tense. Alice was stuck in the house and she had just kicked Pat out of the chimney. Pat was on the ground after flying through the air. To Alice's dismay, the white rabbit wanted to burn the house down and Alice protested by threatening everyone with her cat dinner. They then dumped pebbles into the house that turned into cakes and Alice ate one that made her small again. Alice escaped from the house and ran into the woods and found a puppy that wanted to play, but Alice ran from the puppy and made a plan to grow back to normal size and get into the garden. Alice was looking around for something to make her a normal size again, and she met eyes with a caterpillar smoking a pipe on top of a mushroom. <laughs>